listen and silent have the same letters in it. Think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to raise your hand if you ever learned anything from personally speaking. Right. You don't learn from speaking. You learn from listening. And one of the most important things that I have with relationships, especially with my vendors, and most importantly to my guests, is listen. And, and I'm going to tell you something. A lot of times what you hear is hard to listen to. And I learned a long time ago, my guest is not always right. In fact, how about this one? Quite often they're wrong, and they are. But it's not my job to educate them, give them what they want. It's perception. If their perception is that this perfectly cooked medium rare steak is raw, it's raw. Take it back to the kitchen, make it medium well, bring it back and call it medium rare. What does it matter? So it's so important that you listen to feedback. We make changes all the time, and we hate, as humans, we hate change, right? But I gotta tell you, the only thing consistent in the world is change, and we just keep changing. If it doesn't work, change it again. If that doesn't work, change it again. But if you just sit and say, this is the way we do it, I'm not changing it, again, don't forget who the boss is. The boss is the, the person paying the bill at the end of that experience. Customer service should not be a department, it should be an entire company. It always amuses me when I see big companies and they have a dedicated customer service department. Does that mean the rest of the company treats you like crap? Right? The whole company, and by the way, that's not only your external guests, but your internal guests, your team, your staff. I know growing up through the business, who I resonated with as far as my leaders and mentors and managers, and who I was turned off to. And the people that would listen were the people that I always uh, gravitated towards. Smiles and profits have a direct correlation. Be nice. I tell, I tell people that all the time. It's like, be nice. Again, hospitality, by definition, warm, personal, and engaging. And again, say, you're all in hospitality. Always have a human answer your phone. I want to talk about this for a second because I know some of you are probably thinking, wow, all that labor. Do you know what drives me crazy? Here, here's the one invention I hate most, voicemail. Not even that, automated voicemail. Not even that. When you call a company, I mean, think about any large company. You call it, and it could be 15 minutes before you actually get a human on the phone. That drives me nuts. I will hang up. In fact, here's what's really funny, and my assistant actually gave me this one and, and really honed this one home. I'll go on a business trip. And I know I'm going to New York City, and I'll say, okay, uh, there's going to be 12 of us going to dinner. Um, I want to either go Balthazar, Pastis, or Budokan. Make me a reservation for Thursday at 8 o'clock. You know who gets the reservation? First person to answer the phone. She just wants somebody to talk to. Once she knows that that reservation's confirmed, boom. Always have a person answer your phone. It might cost a little bit more labor but immediately you have that personal interaction because how many of you, and I want you to be honest, how many of you have gotten voicemail and, and just gotten frustrated and hung up? Yeah, most of you, right? Now, how much business do you think is lost every year by companies that think that they're being more efficient by having some kind of automated phone system? So always have a person answering your phone. The sundown rule. Return all phone messages and emails the day they're received. One of my uh, great mentors, um, who was the CEO of Kimpton for 20 years, taught me that. His whole philosophy was simple. Even if you can't respond to the email, a simple, hey, I got it. As soon as I have time, I'll reply to this. And with phone calls, even more important, before you go home at night, just return the call. Hey, I don't have time to talk right now, but your call is important to me. So how about we set up a time where we can actually address what you called me for, right? The sundown rule is something really, really important because I can tell you there's so much business lost by companies because they just didn't respond. It's really an amazing thing. A study done by Columbia Business shows that consumers will spend 12% more money when they are comfortable and relaxed. How do you get them comfortable and relaxed? Spend time with them. Again, hospitality only exists when people feel you're on their side. If they don't think you care, they're not going to buy from you. Really important, AAA of guest recovery and service recovery. Apologize, acknowledge, act. I want to talk about that because this is so important. See, I always tell my teams, 
It's never about if, but when you make a mistake. You're going to make a mistake, right? In your case, you might forget to put an order in on time. Delivery might be late. Um, product might have been switched up, what you ordered different from what was delivered. You know, you might have short shipped something. You might have over shipped something. There's a million things that you could have done that were mistakes. And it's really simple. I'm sorry. This is the situation that I want to fix and then fix it right? It's okay to say, I'm sorry. Have you guys ever been in an argument with somebody back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's getting heated, and all of a sudden the person you're arguing with goes, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. And you're like, but, but, what? You're completely disarmed by that. And I, it's one of the first things that I tell people in my servers, even if you go to that table and that customer is condescending, you know what? You are sorry. If nothing else, you're sorry they're not having a good time, right? So not being patronizing, but I'm sorry. This is what I need to do to fix this, and then I'm going to fix it for you. Right? AAA of service recovery is so, so important, so simple, and so often it's like, oh, mistake was made, let me hide from it instead of addressing it head on.